And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Houston Astros. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Adolis Garcia. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. I mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go and getting to start. Lance McCullers Jr. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Nathaniel Lowe, oh, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Well, he's been aggressive right out of the box, and a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get to two strikes. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, in the box, he's seen that movie before. It wasn't a good movie either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Foul ball. Oh, and two now. Oh, that's inside. Low at first, one gone. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. That misses. Two, ball. two, two balls, strikes. two strikes. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. Corey Seager leaves the yard. His 21st of the year. It's 2 0. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. First pitch, not close. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a miss. Got a count even at one. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. One down. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Three hits and a loss last night. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. And the runner stays where he is. And the 1-0. Swing and a miss. And now two and one. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Fouls one off. Two and two. Fights it off. You'll see another. A 
and down on strikes he goes out number two Ezekiel Duran the next to hit blasted a solo homer yesterday the only run they were able to score first pitch doesn't find the zone he's given up a couple of runs but the pitch count really not as high as you would think might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches swing get a ball popped up Dubon should have this one that is the inning but two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run homer it's now a two nothing ball game back here at the ballpark and today's starter Max Scherzer and as usual with him singing I think we can expect plenty of strikeouts yeah Boogie's racked up over 3,000 strikeouts in his career so expect to see more of the same in this one Carter hauls it in and there's one away now Michael Brantley steps in and first offering is fouled off And that's a strike. No ball, two strike. That one lifted to left. Smith under it. Hauls it in. And there's two away. Here's Jordan Alvarez. And that's in there for strike one. Alvarez, who's from Cuba, he grew up idolizing a future teammate, Yuli Gurriel, who is 13 years his senior. Next pitch inside, and it's one and two. With Max, you're always thinking about the strikeout. Chris, he's one of three guys along with Clemens and Randy Johnson to strike out 20 in a game. Yeah, and with his delivery and release points, sometimes it seems like that fastball is rising. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. New inning getting started. Here's Josh Young. And a pitch. Out towards left center. Alvarez heads towards it. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. And first offering is fouled off. McCullers winds fires. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. Gonna have to regroup here. In the dirt. Tosses to first. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Two outs, base is empty. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Not close with that one, but he gets him to go after it. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a double. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. He got a backdoor breaking ball, really easy to give up on that pitch, but he stayed on it and shot it right back in the direction it was breaking from. Really nice job of letting it travel. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes to count. That one ran inside, almost got him. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls, so that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. And a 3-0 finds his own. And ball four to a board. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. 
low. The next to hit takes ball one. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Next one is off the play, and now 2-0. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Next one misses. And now 3-0. and oh. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. And that's ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's in for a strike. One one, and that one wrapped foul. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Left-hand hitter waits, and that one is lifted in the air. Alvarez in position, drops into the glove, and that will end the. Back here in Houston, and now the center fielder Chaz McCormick. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Scherzer, a former Cy Young Award winner, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, now a screamer into the outfield. That's down, one hops off the wall. Takes the turn, he's digging for second, and he's got a leadoff double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. And here's the rookie catcher, Yaner Diaz. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Scherzer deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Lifted in the air, out to left. Makes the grab, and there's one down. Now it's Alex Bregman. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. Bregman, who had a great career at LSU, he was the second overall pick. And now this is down for a base hit. Smith fires it to the plate, tag safe at home. And they trail by one. Well done, drives in the run. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Jeremy Pena digs in now. In there for strike one. Oh, Boog, a lot of guys would love to be taken in the first round and second overall, but Alex Bregman seems to have carried that as a chip on his shoulder over the years, not being the number one pick overall. And he's played in such a way where he's always trying to show people that he's the best, and it's translated on both sides of the ball. Bregman, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Into center. Carter snags it on the run. Here's Mauricio Dubon. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Just missed. Swing and a bouncer, and that's just foul. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a 2-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. On to the third inning. Here's a big power threat. Adolis Garcia. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Garcia goes six foot one. Batting in the cleanup spot, and he's a former home run derby champ. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And Garcia is out. One down. 
just pulled off of it a little bit right there that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed if he does that he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left that one ripped and it's a one hopper off the wall should be extra bases and into second with one away that's a double nice double right there loud contact coming off the bat didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here but you'll take that swing and that result every time now at the plate Ezekiel Duran squirts away a little bit and the runner holds runner at second here one gone. Next offering is foul back. The 0 2. One ball, two strikes. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love... Ground ball could be two. Feed to second, that's one. Ow! The double play ends the inning and... Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, Bly Madris. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Madrid's 27 years old, and he was a ninth-round draft pick back in 2017. The next pitch misses 2 and 0. So here's Scherzer out to short. Seeger fires over to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Hard hit, right side. Simeon, toss over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Brantley in the box now. No balls and a strike. That one down the line, and it finds its way through for a hit. And with the inning still alive, here comes the heart of the order. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. First oh, offering and it just misses. Alvarez, a former rookie of the year, a career batting average over 300, and he's driven in double digit runs over his last 10 games. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Smith settles underneath it and makes the play, and that's out number three. To the fourth at the play. Evan Carter. A line to kick the pitch. That's in there. Going one. Well, these Rangers did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Here's a one-one. Next offering is outside. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. Next offering misses. Three and two now. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So, up next, Josh Smith. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. That's in for a strike. Throw, and they got him. Such a quick and fast swing of emotions right there. You get the runner on with the walk, which is great, but then picks a bad pitch to go on, and you just erase the free pass that you were issued. I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to try to get in the scoring position, but you just have to be a little smarter there. So now one, one and two. two Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. 
Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. <laughs> Next offering is in the dirt. Good eye right there. On the ground. Dubon to first. And there's two down. Here is Marcus Simeon. One home run shy of 200 for his career. Pitch misses there, and it's 1-0. And a swing and a miss there. Right-hander kicks deals. And a count one and two. Righty delivers. Out to short, Pena. Fires to first on the run, and he'll be safe at first. So two down. So next to hit for Texas, Nathaniel Lowe. This to third, and the inning is over. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning, leading off, Chaz McCormick. And first offering is fouled off. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. Swing and a foul straight back. 0-2 now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Here's the 0-2. Swings and sends a rocket to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. And a foul ball. Ground ball up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Man at first with one gone, and now it's Alex Bregman. That's to third. Fires to second for one, and that's two. Welcome back, and here's Corey Seager to hit. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. And he deals. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. High fly ball out into left center field. Alvarez makes the grab. One away. Next up for Texas, Adolis Garcia. And there's a ball. Ball one, no strike. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. Two count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Sneaks through, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and... Didn't get under. What a stop. Steps on the bag for one. Double play. What a twin killer. And the right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. and misses it's a strikeout 
very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play you don't even have to get a hit at that point you can help your team just by reaching on an error but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time and a pitch so a foul ball makes it one and two flew open a little bit with that front shoulder but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch keep the bat alive Seeger whips it to first on the run home half of the fifth inning moving along two quick outs Madris stands in now and watches strike one bounced out to short Seeger now the throw to first on the run. And that is that. Nothing doing. Back here at the ballpark, top six. Now here's the Rangers, DH, Ezekiel Duran. Turned on, but foul wide of third. The 0 1. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. McCormick makes the catch and there's one gone on the mound he had a little trouble back in the first but it's been a different story the rest of the way really settled into this outing nicely and that one fouled off young 25 years old he's been on a terrific run at the plate hitting over 350 in his last 10 oh. next one in the dirt 1 0 And another ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. One down, base is empty. I got three and two. In the air, out towards left center. Alvarez pulls it in for the out. Two down. Up next for the Rangers, Evan Carter. This one in the air center field. McCormick trying to get there and makes the grab. And that. Bottom of the six. Here's Kyle Tucker. Singy Kyle Tucker has done a little bit of everything. He's won a World Series. He's been an All Star. He's won a Gold Glove, and a guy who was the fifth overall pick in the 2015 draft. The pitch. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Next one just misses. Yeah, the count one and two. Struck him out looking. Now Michael Brantley stands in. Swing and a base hit. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. They get it in quickly. So first and second now one out. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. That one's in there on one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in this. Makes the catch for the second out. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Diaz in the box now. Take strike one. Swing and a miss. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Right through there. Got him. That ends the frame. Astros go to the pen, and here comes Rafael Montero. 25th appearance of the year for him. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Oh, one down. And the pitch is outside, ball one.
In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back there. That's down. One hops off the wall. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Simeon, the next to hit, takes ball one. And it's even up. I think he was a little excited there. Saw the fastball, but needed a step ladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good at bat. Man, it's second. Swings through that one. No outs. Runner on second. And here it comes. In the air to left center. McCormick settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one down. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. He's 0 for 1. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Pulls that one foul. Kicks and fires. And that's outside. Smith, the runner at second with one away. That's inside. Three and one. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. And there's a foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Kicks and deals. Up the middle. And that is out number two. So now it's Corey Seager. He's already homered here in this one. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Oh, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Smith, rounds third, headed for the plate. Safe. Comes through with the RBI. That was maybe even a little off the plate, but no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job, and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. Man at second here with two away. Adolis Garcia getting ready to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Pena. Tosses across the first. Third out, and that ends the frame. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Come back to the mound. The throw to first, and they get Bregman for the out. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Pena in the box again, takes a strike. Strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Scherzer ahead one and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Ripped on a line, and that's a base hit, and that's going to roll to the wall. The throw into second, and that's a double. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Next one is off the plate, and now it's even one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. One out and a runner at second. Got him swinging. 
Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Strike three. Got him swinging. And that's the inning. No run. So here comes Ryan. Presley to the mound. 32nd appearance. The pitch. In the air out to center. McCormick has it sized up. Squeezes it. And there's one down. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. Presley, multi time all star. He features a slider, a four seamer, a slurve, and he works in a changeup. Swang and a miss. And that is strike one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Gathers and throws to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Two outs, space is empty. And here is Josh Young. And there's the strike. Bounce to the right. And foul ball. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And good work there. Bottom of the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. The oldest Chapman comes in to take over. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. Swing and a miss. And he got him. One out. Well, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want to do it. Set him up in the strike zone, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. Tap to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And they get Brantley for the out. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Alvarez in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And that is in for a strike. And the count is 0-2. All one there. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their... Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him. For Parker Mashinsky. Comes on now. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. Here comes a pitch. Carter at the plate now as he chases after that one. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Brian Abreu getting ready to go. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws from. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. Two straight. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Came inside with that two strike. Fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. 0-2 now. That's to third. Slings it across. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. 
running out of chances to pad the lead. Mashinsky, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2017. Simeon, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Not close with that one, and it's a ball to strike. Two down, nobody on. Two balls, one strike. And there's the strike. That misses. And now three and two. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Ouch. That one squared up the umpire, and it looks like you got him pretty good. And now the lefty out there to center. And that'll do it. Nothing doing for the... At the bullpen is Will Smith. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Line drive, and out number one on the grab. Well, baseball can be cool, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives, and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. The pitch. And now it's even up. One ball, one strike. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. He makes the grab, and there's two away. Astros down to their last out. Here's Alex Bregman. That's in there. That's strike one. Two-run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. And your final 3 1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shabby. Thanks for joining us.